So I'm Steve. Uh, I'm going to ask each of these folks to introduce themselves. I practiced law for 32 years, and then I retired and am involved in the Harasika Foundation, which is an organization that supports mentoring. Hence, us being here. Jim is uh, involved in Harasika with me. So, Jim, you next. Hi, I'm Jim Severs. I spent 28 years in the United States Air Force, moved 18 times. Well, um, in the last 25 years, I've been involved in uh, youth mentoring and supporting military families. Uh, so it's a pleasure to be here representing Harrisica and getting a chance to talk to you about it. Go ahead. Sure. What's going on, guys? My name is Sarab. I graduated from Herndon in 2014, so almost 10 years now. Uh, when I was in Herndon, I did, um, I was four years ROTC. I did wrestling and I was doing uh, boxing there, but uh, I didn't know I had a mentor all throughout high school, middle school, elementary school. And then as I reflect back on my life now, I, I see how those mentors pivoted my life to where it is now. So I just want to come and share that with you guys. Okay. Um, my name is Tony Wilson. I went to school here. Um, I graduated in 2002. Um, I'm a relocation specialist with my guys uh, moving and engine moving services. Um, and you know the power of mentorship is really that you have somebody in your corner um, being able to assist you wherever it is that it's possible. You know, um, my uh, first mentor that comes to mind uh, was when I was here. Uh, I was a football coach of mine, and actually I'm still in contact with uh, to this day. It's helped me make some great decisions um, through, through you know, a lot, a lot of things. So. And my name is Brett Burks. I uh, went to graduated here in 1998, and it looked totally different. I can assure you. Uh, but um, you know, I, I don't. I, I run a moving company now. Um, I, you know, I had a career in financial services now and that. But uh, I don't know where I'd be without mentors. Uh, they, they've guided me and shaped me in a lot of different ways. So, you know, the first uh, one of the first examples I think about is my grandfather, great man, war hero. Um, and, uh, you know, he kind of started his own little small business, but I always, always, I always admired him, loved him. Uh, and he was very helpful for me. And one of the things that I would say I, you know, challenged with as a younger, you know, whatever, 17 year old was, uh, overconfidence probably, or maybe just standoffish. Like, I got this, I got this, you know? Uh, and of course at 17 years old, I did not have it. I wanted everybody to think I had it, but I didn't have it. And one of the things that he passed on to me that, that sticks with me is, hey, you don't have to do it alone. I mean, there are people that have gone before you, no matter what it is that you want to do. You want to be a teacher, there's teachers. You want to be a you know, rock star, there's rock stars. If you want to be a coach, there's coaches that, that can literally help you and tell you exactly what to expect and the best way to position yourself to be there. But he talked about you don't even have to. You don't have to figure it out alone, even if there wasn't somebody there. You can read books written by people that have gone before you and done these things. And he said, Brett, um, everybody learns from their own mistakes, but wise people learn from other people's mistakes. And if you have that opportunity to collapse time frames by leveraging other people's experience, you can get to where you want to be in a shorter period of time. Uh, and that's what I gleaned uh, from my great grandfather. So a quick story, um, I didn't know, I was, I was here at high school, I was, uh, didn't know what it is that I really wanted to do, um, and you know, you feel all that pressure, I'm supposed to make this decision right now, it, it doesn't happen that way a lot of times, some folks it does, um, some folks it doesn't, and um, uh, I ended up finding my way into financial services, which I met uh, Brett, and um, you know, I was a really quiet kid, um, but for whatever reason, financial consulting was very appealing to me. There was a lot of freedom in it. It was very lucrative. Uh, my parents, though, uh, their biggest concern was that I was so quiet and I was going to have to talk, right? <laughs> so, like, literally, like, my dad sat me down, like, hey, you realize that means you have to be able to talk and commun <laughs> communicate with people, right? Um, and so, and I, I didn't have that. I didn't have that. And so, to these gentlemen's point, that you have a non-judgmental individual that you can confide in, um, relate to, um, that maybe has come from the same as aspiring um, uh, and, you know, path um, is what you want to connect with. And so you have somebody that's that's like that, that you can call and say, hey, I'm thinking about doing this. 
um, and they're not telling you what you need to do from their perspective. They're asking you, what is it that you want to do? Where do you want to see yourself? You know, um, and then be able to put you, if they don't have the answer, to put you in line uh, with people or connect you to resources that you can do that. But what that's done for me is it's, it's shaped my scope of what I expect for myself. So being able to, you know, no person's an island, person, right? No person's an island, and you need a mirror to show your strengths, show your weaknesses, and help you to be able to, to guide that path uh, non judgmentally. That the reason we're here is to interest you in pairing with what we either call a career guide or a mentor during the school year. What the program is designed to do is to have what we call a non-judgmental adult, an additional adult in your life. You might have parents or guardians or friends or teachers or guidance counselors or coworkers or whatever, all of whom are in your life, but an additional adult who is non-judgmental, who is able to have a relationship with you on a confidential basis, to just listen to you, to talk about what your ideas are. And the program that we're involving you in this year is what is called a work-based learning initiative to give you opportunities to have experiences in the workplace. Maybe it's a field trip. Maybe it's shadowing somebody for a half day or a day. Maybe it's an internship for a couple of weeks or a month during a vacation. Maybe it's a part-time job. Or maybe it's going to a workshop here at the school where people come in and talk about what they do for careers. And our goal is to give you that opportunity over the course of your high school careers to experience as many different things as possible. Speaking as one of the co-founders of Harrisiga, we did that because those of us who found it didn't get those opportunities, we didn't take advantage of them. So we want to make those opportunities available to you and pair you with a career guide to give you ideas for what to do, to talk about what the experiences mean, and just think about it out loud. Somebody who is there, who's trained, and who is, who is supported. And uh, I'm going to let the mentoring expert tell you about what, <laughs> what mentoring is about. Well, one of the things I think it's very interesting to underscore what Steve said is we use the term to help you imagine your future. So it's not about us telling you what you should do, but perhaps broadening your view of what you could do. And we want to meet you where you are. We want to listen to you, as Steve said, and, and get an understanding of what you see as your future and then help you perhaps broaden that out and answer questions and address obstacles and challenges you think may be uh, ahead of you. You can see up here on the board, there's some pretty famous people that didn't get to where they are without having mentors. But it's not just restricted to famous mentors. Look at Tom Brady's mentor, you've probably never heard of him. Also look at what happened with Usher. He was mentored by Pete Diddy and then turned around and mentored Justin Bieber. So it's about legacy, it's about passing it down, it's about giving back to others. So what we want to do is help you imagine your future with a one-on-one, like you said, non-judgmental, confidential relationship with an additional adult in your life. Being a child of an immigrant, you know, it, it, there's a lot of expectations placed on you and a lot of it is academic, a lot of it is future. Sometimes you have to take uh, consideration of how you're going to take care of your parents after you graduate high school. And I know a lot of seniors probably think of that and uh, things along the lines of that. So one of my mentors that actually uh, was at Herndon, Commander Becerra, uh, he he used to tell me that, uh, he, Laurie, if you do something, do, don't do it halfway. Do it, do it right and do it the right way. So uh, taking that philosophy and kind of going and taking that advice in at that moment, I was just like, oh, yeah. You know, whatever, you know, it's, it, it, I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. But then uh, once I transitioned my career into the military and once I went into the military and I came out and I started uh, working in the uh, work field, it really helped me hit that and realize that if I start doing stuff uh, like I'm into it, like I'm fully into it, then I can actually excel and I can actually succeed. And that has gotten me to in further places in a lot of different organizations. So. And none of that would have been possible without a lot of people in my life that have given me these advice that might have not ticked at that moment. But as you get older and as you have become wiser, you see, you start uh, re recollecting all these memories and you realize, oh, wow, they really shaped the way to for who I am today.
The mentor that I didn't realize was a mentor encouraged me to apply for a job that I didn't think I was qualified for, that I knew I was too young for. And during the time I was there, he helped me gain confidence and gave me ideas for how to do the job. Best job I ever had. An amazing person. And there isn't just one mentor for you. I mean, we may have a career guide or mentor for you in this program. I have multiple mentors. I mean, I collect them. They're just people who you can go to and say, I need your thoughts about something. Do you have five minutes? And it might be somebody who you go to a lot. It might be somebody you go to once a year or a few times in your life.